irony that it has taken the arrival of the torch in a country like North Korea that tolerates absolutely no public protest whatsoever for it, for it to receive the kind of unanimous and uh, wholehearted welcome so lacking elsewhere. With the, the state of affairs economically in North Korea, they've really got to do all they can to put on a good show in the hope of keeping China on site. Well, that's right. North Korea at the moment is facing severe food shortages. We know that rations in some parts of the country have been suspended for some months. Uh, even some problems with rations in the capital city, Pyongyang. Interestingly, UNICEF, uh, the United Nations Children Agency, was invited to take part in the torch ceremony in Pyongyang today, but uh, decided in March to pull out. It didn't feel uh, that participating would help its cause. And often children are the most vulnerable uh, at times of food shortages in North Korea. The agency says that it's often children who suffer the most. Uh, but you're right, North Korea's parlous economic state means that it really needs China's support and help. And it's no surprise, perhaps, that they're really trying to put on uh, this show of uh, unity and strength and support for the, for the torch today. Uh, feeling that it's exactly what uh, political leaders in China would have hoped for. And what was the situation in Seoul? Much sign of, of any dissent there? Well, before the uh, relay began uh, in Seoul on Sunday, there were threats to disrupt it by uh, groups of human rights.